Moscow Red Legion had done it, fighting their way through the Challengers division at the Mid-Atlantic Open and taking their position back in the Champions League. The question now loomed, will this young team compete or relegate back like many of the new teams before them? The 2014 Moscow Red Legion is a new team with new beginnings and new traditions. Captain Kirill Peridny starts their return to the Champions Division with a new Russian ritual. Hey, hey, wake up! Hey, wake up! Hey. There was something very refreshing about the Red Legion that showed up in Chicago. The team was focused, hungry, but most obviously in tune. Movement on the field was synchronized and through each point, Red Legion looked more and more like the rosters before them. But this was the PSP Champions Division, the toughest paintball tournament in the world. With every point you plan, a premier opponent is eagerly waiting to bunker your 16-year-old snake forward. Look at that move. The, the burst speed we were talking about earlier, Maddie. Carl God. Markowski. God, Carl Markowski is just feasting out there. Got himself a two-pack to blow he open this side here. Markowski get out wide, and then Lawhead and Blez die right after him. And here comes Moscow just charging down this snake side and just making short work of Chris Sosi. Just one player left alive, and he might be Brian McKenna again. Aftershock is starting to feast right now on some of these Moscow players. Here comes Karl Markowski, who splits the seam, trades out with the stand-up. He gets taken out by that guy, and then another one gets chewed up. His shot keeps pushing forward, but it looks like two players left alive. For, uh, for Chicago Aftershock to make this a two-point game with 12 minutes and about 20 seconds left to go here in this matchup. So it's shock. Yeah, we were expecting this match to be much closer, but I believe because of the mud, because of the rains, Aftershock guys couldn't be so quick as they are really. So that's why they were stuck in the mud and we're just killing them. And the, look at this move though. No one looking at Was or sorry, no one looking at uh is that Colombo. So Colombo, huge move down the snake side. He owns Markowski in the gunfight. And that was that's the problem with going up to that bunker for Carl's. Carl's living by his gun. Uh, it is kind of a treacherous spot. Colombo was able to we are about to watch the Los Angeles Ironman with the rebuilt roster play their first game of the tournament. Oh, inches away from each other. Veered up and Alex Gorman is going to launch. Puts it right on his neck and trades out with him. That was uh, quick. I don't think he knew Mike Paxson was dead behind him though, but Marcelo Margot right behind Alex Gorman. Um, you guys really to see it. Here comes, look at that, this move down the snake all the way to the corner. Is that Toe Coast Campbell? To coast. town right now the whole Ironman group is just just sharking down the field to try to get that last kill and then Ibarra is gonna run that flag in during the final moments of the point Ironman's concede button had inadvertently gone off the point was to be replayed from the moment in the match when the buzzer sound this would mean Red Legion would start with one player and Ironman with five. Like paintball gods were on their side and all the penalties were in against us probably and even once we had to play the point starting one against four from the starting gate. Yeah, so I've never seen this and I honestly thought about that match as about the black magic, yeah. 
Well, look at this, though. He's the only one left. Oh, there everyone you. died around him, so that penalty did play a factor. And so it's a, it is a major penalty. And then here comes Moscow Red Legion mirroring that move to get into Snake 2 as well. Highway move. I love this move. Does he get him? They trade. No, no I don't no, think they no. did. No, and... and oh. Marcelo dies. Yeah, so Marcelo no. coming off right behind Toe Camel. So now the door is open for Moscow Red Legion to try it, to make though. this a two-point game. Moscow Red Legion came together when they needed it most, putting together a comeback that would later be labeled as one of the greatest matches during the Chicago Open. The score was 6-6, six to six, and time had run out. Russian Legion had done what was statistically improbable and returned to life with a four-point deficit. But it wasn't enough. So here we are into overtime. It's all tied up at six apiece. Ironman on your screen right now. Alice Goldman running and gunning all the way. Wow, to the 50-yard line. <laughs> Ironman snakeside combination was too much during the overtime point. Red Legion left the field in complete silence. Although their dreams had taken a step back, they were not shattered yet. Yeah. Running and shooting off the break. That's a bold move, too. Off the break? In overtime? Wow. Ironman. Taking big bites, making it work, and Alex Goldman is playing like the phenom that we know he is. Saturday's competition would decide their place in the PSP. One win would guarantee their spot in the Champions Division. Two wins would move their team to Sunday. And now a quick word from our sponsors who make videos like these possible. Today we play against uh, Vicious and, uh, uh, and Impact. It should be two tough games, and uh, we should want both to go through the brilliance. Yeah, and uh, we just want only one game to stay in the division. But for us, it's better to win these two games. It is Moscow Legion taking on Omaha Vicious, and this is a crucial game for both of these teams. Moscow Legion is one and one, and Omaha Vicious had a bad day yesterday. They're 0 and 2. And Vicious knows they need to attack this snake, and they have an awesome guy to do it in Shane Colby. And look at this, Shane Colby just stomping down this field, and we might have got oh, a penalty, no. though. Yeah, he's got to be careful, though. That's the thing. Well, he's got a giant hit on the side of his head, and I'm not sure when that hit came from, but he does have a massive hit. It's going to take Coral, but whatever. After Shane Colby's penalty down the snake, Red Legion seemed focused on returning the favor. Red Legion goes on a tear, scoring four unanswered points. This, oh, I don't think he doesn't know Colombo has and no and, and, idea and, and, that, that Colby has made it in there. So Colby, I don't know if Colby and, knows Chabon is there. Colby's guns I don't think, not I don't working. Think nobody, so. I don't think nobody knows he's there. Oh, oh his, his gun is not his, working. His gun is not working. So he tried to wrap it in a hole there for a second. It's just like the old school call for my gun's down. I'm just going to try to make something happen. Get you. Here comes another major penalty on Brian Bortle. Sorry. Huge. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Nate Schrader.
With the win over Omaha Vicious, Red Legion solidifies their position in the Champions Division and is now in contention for Sunday Finals. The only obstacle left in their path is Edmonton Impact. Impact had been playing a very composed strategy, oftentimes playing conservative and relying on their individual experience to win points. Russian Legion had been taking the snake off the break and continuously feeding pressure on all sides of the field. Two very different strategies, not to mention the winner of this match was to play Tampa Bay Damage in the semifinals. You got half the team that's French, half the team that's Russian, and all the Russian players are young guys that are most around the age of 18 years old and not a lot of experience. So it was tough for them to try to figure out like, okay, well, uh, okay, we can do a French line and the Russian line, which they have been doing, and that's been working for them, at least in this event. This stuff just takes time. And, uh, and Moscow Red Legion, in this event, coming into this game, two and one, looking like they're starting to get it together. Moscow Red Legion was rebuilding themselves into a contender and inevitably faced off against an Edmonton Impact who was peeking into their best performance ever. Red Legion struggled to attack down the snake and quickly fell behind. Although they left Chicago with a 2-2 record, the 2014 season has so far been a consistent improvement in performance. Edmonton Impact would later move on to win the championship and Red Legion's event was over, but their heads were still held high. Так, Дэн, ты отдыхаешь, потому что Саша играет. Значит, играет у нас сейчас.